Take a seat, please. My name is Mona Abraham, and I'm reading for Susan. Okay. Just cue her into the second page in the monologue. Okay. Sure. Why? Please. Oh. Sure. Why? Okay. Oh, well, sorry. Can we just can we start back from the, the uh, just so I can? Let's yeah, start at the top of page two. Or or halfway through. Yeah. Okay. You. Okay, I'm gonna start from halfway through. Um. Yeah. Look. Look at look at Don Shula, legendary coach. Look at that Asian guy who holds the world record for eating all those hot dogs in a row. Look at Rude McCallahan from the Golden Girls. All three people, all great champions, all loved. Do you know why I think you should race again? Sure, why? Okay, because it's what you love, Ricky. It's who you were born to be. And here you sit thinking. Well, Ricky Bobby's not a thinker. He's a driver, he's a doer. And that's what you need to do. You don't need to think. You need to do. You need to drive. You need speed. And you need to go out there and you need to rev your engine and you need to fire it up and you need to grab a hold of that line between speed and chaos. And you just, you just need to wrestle it to the ground like a demon cobra. And then when fear rises up in your belly, you just, you just use it because you know it's powerful. And it's been around for billions of years. And then you just use it and you know, just you ride and you ride it like a skeleton horse through the gates of hell. And then, then you win, Ricky. You win. You just don't win for anybody else. You win for you. You know why? Because a man takes it all. He takes what he wants. And you're a man, aren't you? Aren't you? Susan, I, I've never heard you talk like that. Are we about to get it on? Because I'm sorry to dive into a nice storm right now. This is awesome. Are you climbing on the table right now? Yes, sir. I can't believe it. It's like that white snake video where that girl calls and Yeah, what's her name? Tawny Katan. Yes, Tawny Katan. She's fantastic. She's awesome. Everyone turn away. Things are about to get crazy. We're about to make animal noises. And quiet the mouse, please, if you could, please slate and you'll be reading with Sarah. My name is Kai and I will be playing the character Holtz. Okay. <clears throat> you know what I just did? I just walked out that door, saw a couple detectives, and was about to start bad-mouthing you behind your back. But I stopped myself, because my pops taught me that a man who talks behind somebody's back is a coward. Well, I actually appreciate that. Good, because I'm going to tell it directly to your face. No, you don't have to do that. No, no, I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal, it sounds feminine. If we were in the wild, I would attack you. If, even if you, even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out in the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you. And then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. <laughs> Sarah's your partner. Uh, don't, don't over, you know, Absolutely. Don't take over her space. Yeah, yeah. Thank for you. Sure, for sure. All right, and action. Hi, I'm Joshua Sabag, and I'll be reading for Gamble. Okay, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Halts, lions don't even like water. If you place it near a river or some sort of fresh water source, that'd make more sense, but you find yourself in the ocean? With uh, 20 foot waves, and I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa or something. Coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna and my 20 and 30 friends? You lose that battle. You lose that battle nine times out of 10, guaranteed. And guess what? You've wandered into our tuna school now, but now we have a taste of a lion. Yeah, we've talked to ourselves, Halts. We've communicated. Yeah? Yeah! And you know what we said? We said, you know what? Lions taste pretty good. Let's go get some more because now we've developed a system to establish and aggressively hunt you and your family. Yeah, we'll corner your pride, your children, your offspring, and your cubs. Well, how are you going to do that? Because we will construct a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. Yeah, we'll be able to trap certain amounts of oxygen and it's not going to be days at a time, but, but an hour, hour 45, no problem. Yeah, that'll give us enough time to figure out where you live, go back to the sea to get some more oxygen, and then stalk you. Yeah, you just lost at your own game halts. You're outgunned and outmanned. 
Did that go the way you thought it would? No. And action. My name is Robin Nielsen and I am reading for the part of Gamble. Okay. No. I don't like you. I think you're a fake cop. The sound of your piss hitting the urinal, it sounds feminine. If we were in the wild, I would attack you. Even if you weren't in my food chain, I would go out of my way to attack you. If I were a lion and you were a tuna, I would swim out into the middle of the ocean and freaking eat you. Then I'd bang your tuna girlfriend. Okay, first off, a lion swimming in the ocean? Lions don't like water. If you placed it near a river of some sort, a fresh water source, that'd make sense. But you'd find yourself in the ocean, 20 foot waves. I'm assuming it's off the coast of South Africa, coming up against a full grown 800 pound tuna with 20 or 30 friends. You lose that battle. You lose that battle nine times out of 10. And guess what? You've wandered into our school of tuna and now we have a taste of lion. We've talked to ourselves. We've communicated. Yeah. And said, you know what? Lion tastes good. Let's go get some more lion. We've developed a system to establish a beachfront and aggressively hunt you and your family. And we're going to corner your pride, your children, your offspring. How are you going to do that? We'll construct a series of breathing apparatus with kelp. We will be able to trap certain amounts of oxygen. It's not going to be days at a time, but an hour. Hour 45, no problem. That'll give us enough time to figure out where you live. Go back to the sea, get more oxygen, and stock you. You lost at your own game. You're outgunned and outmanned. Did that go the, the way you thought it was going to go? No. I like 